there, there should be no delivery, elective delivery of any child prior to basically term at 38, nine weeks gestational age. The next component is essentially the baby, the more premature you are, the higher the risk and the morbidities. Our biggest risk category goes in those babies that are what we describe as very low birth weight, which is less than 1,500 grams, which is less than 3.3 pounds. Those babies essentially will be born extremely small, at risk for pulmonary disease, at risk for potential bleeds into their brain, at risk as a result of retinopathy or prematurity, eye disease of premature baby. They may have at risk of bowel inflammation, such as something that's called necrotizing enterocolitis, uh, which is one of the reasons we want our mothers to basically provide breast milk and we have a donor breast milk program to try to reduce that complication, the risk of infection that come, may come into play, and also the long-term risk of neuromorbidities, in other words, of potential developmental disorders associated with being born premature. And these are all inversely proportional to the gestational age. The more premature you are, the higher the risk of all these complications. So you're saying that some of these um, potential consequences could be long-term? Many of them can be very long term, uh, especially the neuromorbidity and the learning disabilities that can impact the child in school age years. Some of these related to blindness as a result of retinopathy or prematurity, although the risk of retinopathy or prematurity has decreased dramatically in over the years from that standpoint. The, at 23 weeks, what we do is we sit down with the parents and try to talk to them about what are our options, what we're going to be able to accomplish and what our goals are, set expectations, because we know that there is at 23 weeks, the likelihood of survival is relatively small. The likelihood of morbidity related to survival is high, and more likely than not, the likelihood of essentially not surviving the process remains pretty high from that standpoint. So we provide them with an aggressive intervention, hopefully talking with the families and discussing with them our limits so that if at some point in time we have to decelerate care or just basically start talking about the options available to us, essentially a, a peaceful uh, existence, then we go down that road. At 24 weeks, we start talking about much more aggressive care because our survival rate starts to exceed 50% and morbidity starts to drop dramatically. And subsequent to that, uh, every week after that, our, our chances of survival and reduced morbidities decreases dramatically.